Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren, and a lot of you guys keep asking me, no matter it's a hunter video, no matter if it's a rogue video, what is my grappling hook macro? And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen videos of other people talking about the most amazing and useful macros out there, but I decided to make one of my own. And this is mostly for the people that watch my videos that have been asking the question, no matter what class you play, and I wanted to share with you the most useful macro and show you some of the different uses of it. So, without further ado, let me just go into my macro list out of the jumbled mess that it all is and find the macro that we need. The macro we're looking at is called, I can find it now, Cursor Macro. Cursor Macro is what makes the world turn. As an out the rogue, one of the coolest abilities you have is called Grappling Hook. And normally the way Grappling Hook would work is you would first have to hit the key binding for it, then you have to aim it, then you have to left click in order to execute it. But what if you actually could take off one extra step and use this for almost any other ability given to a lot of other classes? So a cursor macro is something that has been around in games like League of Legends and Heroes of the Storm. In MOBAs it's called smart casting. And there's multiple kinds of smart casting in terms of how it functions. Sometimes you just simply hit the key binding and then when you hit the key bind twice, it activates the ability because at first it gives you the aim and reticle for skill shots and then executes it after it allows you the aim. And sometimes it allows you a little bit faster reaction time because the less time you have clicking and aiming and with your mouse, the more time you have doing things like PvP, CCing the targets, bursting, finding opportunities for you to score kills. There's a lot more that can be done and one of those macros is the cursor macro. The way it uh, modifies the grappling hook, instead of having to key bind, uh, hit the key binding for it, aim and shoot, you basically aim, hit the key binding and it shoots for you where you aim it without showing up the reticle. Now this takes a little bit of practice of using this macro, especially with ability like a grappling hook, but I would say it increases my reaction time tremendously. Let's go to the one of the classes that I have, for example, a demon hunter. A demon hunter is a class that is very fast, very quick, and you have to be precise. So using this cursor macro, we can develop a simple macro. Let's take the cursor macro right here, copy and paste it, go to the Illidan, or the Illidan uh, macros, let's make it burst. You make your burst macro, you basically put in the cast uh, cursor as you can copy it over and let's say we use the ability of metamorphosis. Normally with metamorphosis you have to wait with a reticle until the ability is ready, right? Normally you would hit the burst cooldown and then you have to aim where you want to go but what if situations are he hot and heavy and as a demon hunter there's not a lot you can do. Let's say you're just dashing and dashing and backflipping and you're trying to stun the enemy and bam in a single press of a button now you get your demon form activated and so now you can really go and wreak some havoc without having to worry about positioning without having to worry about aim and you can be a lot faster on your feet and have a lot better reaction time one of the classes that shows and throws around a lot of these aoe reticles all over the place is the shaman and as a shaman, you don't want to waste your time with your totems. You have a stun totem that takes a bit to charge up. You, sometimes you need your root totem right away. Sometimes you need to lay down your totems for burst in safer location. And let's say things again are very, very heavy within PvP environment. Let's make a few totem macros. Let's say cursor and let's open up the spell book. Let's take the same macro and we'll make another macro off of this. Here we go. So as a shaman already do you have a couple of different totems where you can just bam you throw your slow right here You can slow the enemies on the side rogues are coming from right side bam now you have a stun totem available You don't have to wait the time and aim it you simply just flick your finger Hit it and bam now you have the macro and the totem already functioning and you have your abilities already working in tandem together Let's say you are an unholy death knight You want to make sure that you're able to get the rogues out of stealth as soon as you run in the arena Rogue Restells, you want to be able to catch him, you wouldn't want to waste any more time than necessary. You have way too many macros from your good old days where Unholy DKs were all about that necrotic strike. Bam, now you have a macro ready, now you put yourself a death and decay as soon as a rogue is nearby. Bam, death and decay, be able to surprise them all of a sudden. And one of the most helpful ways of using this macro is especially when you play a hunter. And sometimes as a hunter there's not a lot going on the screen, you kind of just sit at a distance and you pelt people all over the place. But let's say you're playing a survival hunter, not quite the strongest hunter, you're kind of squishy. But you need to be on your toes and on your feet. You got your trusty companion who is a crow for example. And when you go into PvP against enemies, let's say you're going in and you just grapple hook right in there. Oh, this, the combat begins and now you got your burst lined up. 
Let's say an enemy is running up to the left side, you want to make sure it's a death knight and the death knight doesn't destroy you. Simply just aim, point, bam, you got him trapped, easy as that. You got a bunch of enemies coming this way, reinforcements, you got you aim real quick, flick your wrist, flick the cursor where the enemy is at, hit the button and you're good to go. The enemy is about dead but his heroes about to get there, just throw down the trapper on top of him with a flick of a wrist, hit of a macro and boom, now you have the enemy hit with some of your most powerful spells within a moment's notice and then you escape like nothing happened. This macro has been super helpful when playing a lot of classes, whether it be minor help like without the rogues using grappling hook which is insane amounts of help or whether I'm playing hunter and being able to get my traps out on call. You spend a half a second less, literally half a second less, doing the same abilities you would normally would be doing, but to such a high benefit, it is actually incredible. And this is a macro that I want to share with you guys. This applies for a lot of classes, that's why I wanted to make this uh, video not really class specific. So hopefully this was helpful for any of you guys learning PvP or starting to get into PvP or PvE. The faster you get used to using these macros, the faster your reaction time will become so when you're used to using these abilities back to back to back, this ability, that ability, this AOE, that AOE, this trap, that totem, then it'll be a lot easier for you to adjust to different situations and be a little bit more responsive and reactive rather than having to wait for abilities to hit you and then miss your traps and it might improve your accuracy but not 100% guarantee. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I really do hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about the most useful macro in World of Warcraft. And I'll see you guys in the next video.